fine young Christian lady who is a committed Christian, she's a member of a good fellowship, but she becomes emotionally involved with a man who is not a committed Christian. He'll go to church just to get her, but he really has never made a commitment of his life. And her godly pastor says, don't get involved with him, he's not really a committed Christian, it won't work out. Now she's got two options, each of them is painful. She can accept her pastor's advice and nail her feelings and desires to the cross. You see? I love him, that's not the most important thing. I want to be married, that's not the most important thing. You want a happy ending to the story, in due course the right man comes along and she really gets married and is happy. That's the happy side. Suppose that she doesn't crucify her attitudes and her desires and her emotions. She goes ahead and marries him. Fifteen years later after she's had three children, he walks out with another woman and she has to pick up the pieces of her life and handle a, a family without a head. That's far more painful.